All right, this video is going to go over composite inverse trig. Basically, what I mean by that is they're going to give you multiple functions to do. So generally, it'll include like an inverse trig, like an arc sign, and then an exact value of that, like a sign of that. Either way, though, you're going to want to start on the inside of the parentheses. And if you don't already know all of this over here, you're really going to struggle. So maybe go watch a previous video and feel familiar with this kind of stuff. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started. Start on the inside. So you're doing arc sine of one half. You're saying what angle throws a one half when I do sine of that? Well, the angle that throws that is pi over six. So like this part right here was all just pi over six. Now you're just running the sine function of that, so an exact value of pi over six. Well, the sine of pi over six is one half. I know this one was kind of misleading because it was just the same answer we started with, but sometimes that happens. Okay, look at this next one. Start on the inside. So you're doing an exact value first. So the exact value of cosine four pi over three. That's in quadrant three, and it's so cosine's negative there, and it's negative one half. So cosine four pi over three is negative one half. Now you're running arc sine of that. So you're saying what angle throws a sine value of negative one half? Well, the reference angle for that would be pi over six. But since it's negative, it's going to be here in quadrant four. So it's just the negative reference angle. So my answer here is negative pi over six. It's where it would be in quadrant four. This next one, arc cosine of sine of pi. Well, go do the exact value of sine of pi. So the exact value of sine of pi is zero. So you're saying arc cosine, what angle throws a cosine value of zero? Well, they're basically giving you a coordinate. They're giving you uh, zero as the x value, so like zero comma what. And since it's cos arc cosine, it's restricted to only this right here. So the only place that this coordinate could be would be here at zero comma one. So that means pi over two is my answer. And this might look confusing, but the more and more you do of them, the more it'll make sense. So look at this next one. They want you to run an exact value of cosine 11 pi over six first. So that's, first of all, it's in quadrant four and cosine's positive there. So that's just gonna be root three over two. That's the exact value of cosine 11 pi over six. Now, arc cosine of root three over two, well, since it's positive, it's in quadrant one, meaning it's just gonna be the reference angle. So the reference angle here is just pi over six. Okay, this next one, sine of arc sine of two. So they're saying what angle throws you a sign where it gives you two? None of them. That's that's outside of the range of the sine function. Um, so what this means is it's undefined. So it's like them saying sine of undefined. Well, that's undefined. All right, the next one. Tan of sine, arc sine of one half. So do this part first, arc sine of one half. First of all, it's positive. So it's gonna be in quadrant one. So it's basically what the reference angle is. So the reference angle for arc sine of one half would be pi over six. And so now they're just asking you to run tan of pi over six, which is y over x, which is one over root three. Okay, this next one, arc sine of tan of pi. Go get tan of pi first, so. Tan of pi is at, it's at the coordinate negative one comma zero. So y over x is zero over negative one, which is just zero. 
So they're asking you for the arc sine of zero. Well, they're basically giving you a coordinate. They're giving you the y value coordinate being zero. So it's restricted to here. And so the only place where you could have a y value of zero would be at one comma zero. And that's at zero, zero pi. It's right here. Okay, the next one. Sine of arctan of zero. Well, first of all, make arctan zero over one. So they're basically giving you the y over x. So the coordinate one comma zero. They're basically giving you that coordinate. And so at one comma zero, that's just zero. So this is like it's saying sine of zero or zero pi. Sine of zero pi has a y value of zero because it's at the coordinate one comma zero. Okay, the next one. Arc cosine of cosine of seven pi over two. Go get the cosine seven pi over two first. So that is three and a half pies. One, two, three and a half. It's right here. So that's at zero, negative one. So the cosine there is zero. So now it just wants arc cosine of zero. That's basically like them saying, I'm going to have an x coordinate of zero. Well, if you look at arc cosine, the only place this could be with an x-coordinate of zero is at zero, one. So that's at pi over two. So my answer here is pi over two. All right, and then this last one's kind of weird. Sometimes they'll give you um, one of these where it's not one of these normal values that you're used to seeing. When this happens, you need to draw a triangle. So basically, arc cosine negative 2 pi over 3. Since arc cosine is negative, it's going to be in quadrant 2. So what that means is when I draw my triangle, I need to draw it to where it looks like it's in quadrant 2. Now, they're ge basically giving you the x over the r. The x over the r. You run Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So you get four plus y squared equals nine. So you get y equals root five. So this is root five. All right, now you just, uh, so kind of think of this triangle right here as this whole inside part. You don't really care about that inside part now. It just helped you draw the triangle. Now you're just running tan on that. So tan is y over x. So that's negative root 5 over 2. And if you're sitting there wondering why isn't it root 5 over negative 2, it is. Root 5 over negative 2 is the same thing. But in mathematics, it's good practice to put the negative on the top of a fraction. So your answer is negative root 5 over 2. I know this video was kind of confusing, but hopefully it helped you.